Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is whatever. The Code Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm and all these things. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm here in one of the salt water flat e things. Look, if you want to learn, Google. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, it's just, it's beautiful here, and yeah, that's it. Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 19 of the Lico Day Challenge. Like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, I am still here in San Pedro de Atacama. Hopefully I said that a little bit better, but probably still wrong. Um, we have a hard farm today, which sucks because it is 10 p.m. where I am or as I'm recording. And I have to, uh, I have to wake up at 4 a.m. So uh, we'll see how this goes. But yeah, um, I've just been very really tired. Dro drove for like four or five hours today, maybe even more. I didn't really count uh, because I got lost a few times. But um, yeah, everything's very beautiful here, by the way. Uh, that's it. Uh, I need to go to bed soon. So I you know, hope the intro was good enough. I don't, you know, I've, I edit the video afterwards. So I, I don't always remember what I put or... Well, I haven't done it yet, so I don't know what I'm going to put for the intro, but uh, I'm sure it'll be good. So, yeah, let me know. Anyway, today's poem, we have 2092, find all people with secret. You're given an integer n, indicating there are n people from 0 to n minus 1. You're given a 0 index to the array, meetings x, y, time, okay? So x and y will have a t meeting at time. A person might meet multiple meetings at the same time. Finally, you're given an integer first person, okay? Person zero has a secret and shares it with the person first person at time zero. This secret is then shared at every time a meeting takes place with a person that has a secret. More formally, duh, 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 the secrets are shared instantaneously. That means that they're okay. Uh, we turn a list of all the people that have the secret after all the meetings have been done. Okay, I mean this seems like um. You know, I mean, this seems like just a connected components, but with uh, with a time component, right? Um, which, you know, sometimes a small modification to uh, a standard problem could be very tough. But uh, but let's think this through, right? Um, so first thing we probably want to do, and I don't know if that's just true for this one, is just sort by meetings. And then we just kind of, well... Mm, I was going to say with connect components, I, I was going to use union find, right? But maybe I still would. But you have to be careful with this one, right? Because the simultan the instantaneous stuff uh, can be tricky, right? Because if you, uh, because order matters. And what I mean by that is just that, let's say you have person one shares something with person two and person, and, or person one has uh, uh, a meeting with person two and a person two has a meeting with person three um, or at the same time, but but uh, person three has the secret, right? And now it goes three, two, one, and they all get it. But if you're not careful and you implement it like in a, I don't know, if you're just not careful, you might go like, okay, you try to uh, 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 union find or union one and two and then two and three, but then now one doesn't have it, even though they all have the same time. So you definitely have to be careful about stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think whether that's the... Uh, uh, like, I have to, I'm trying to convince myself that that's enough. Um, that it's union fine with a sorting on the time. Um, I mean, I guess union fine could work, but it doesn't have to be union fine, right? We, I think we just have to find all the people in the same meeting. So maybe we just connect the component. I think the, I think the what I said is mostly good. We just have to be careful with um, meetings that happen at the same time. I think with the meetings that happen at the same time, you have to do, you have to be a little bit more careful than. Um, You have to be a little bit more careful than um, 
you know, naively connecting them, right? I think that's good. I think that's fine. Um, I think the thing is that you can actually just do, you don't have to do union fine, of course. I mean, I always, it's just something that I default to for good or for bad. Um, I don't know if I recommend it necessarily, but for this one, you can actually just do a BFS, right? Or a DFS, whichever you prefer. Um, and, and yeah, anytime you have a meeting, you just do a DFS on that time. And the, the tricky thing may be that uh, you may worry about complexity, but each meeting only gets uh, DFS once, so it's going to be linear in uh, in the DFSs. Of course, there's going to be sorting, and anytime sorting, there's going to be n log n. Um, so we could do that. Or you could also you could do some silly things of counting sort, but we we'll ignore that for now. Uh, we, oh, anyway, we're sorting by time, which you know is not related to n directly. But yeah, so let's get started. Um, I think I'm just going to do something like this, right? Uh, parsing the things, right? And then now uh, maybe I'll have a friend start a pen. Oh, what the? <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. My brain is not working. It's I'm at. I went from and for please someone leave a comment about uh, the metric uh, system. Uh, oh, actually I could look it up. I mean I'm right now I'm at eight thousand feet, which is. Uh, 2,400 meters, more or less, right? And I drove all the way to 13,500 feet, which is 4,000 meters, right? And I was just uh, getting a little bit tired as a result of all the altitude and stuff. So, yeah. So, if, if I if I make a mistake, that's what I'm going to blame it on. <laughs> okay. Anyway, events of t dot append uh, x, y... Right, so then we just do that, and now all that to be good. Um, I also want to, uh, this first person stuff is kind of weird. So, um, person zero. Does person zero get in meetings? They do. So why don't they just put like, um, you know, maybe meetings dot append zero first person times zero, right? That's, just, I don't know. And now we don't have to worry about this first person thing. I guess we already worried about it, but now we can stop worrying about it, right? Okay. And then now we still have to sort by the time, right? So for uh, t in defense.key, is it keys? Maybe. Oops. Uh, we want to sort it, right? Oh, and maybe we want to say like has secret or something. I don't know. What's a fun way to saying has secret? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. Of course, is equal to n, right? Except for first nose of zero is equal to true. Right in the beginning. <clears throat> okay. So then now we want to do... Um, yeah, maybe like... Uh, so you fed t. Maybe we have a helper function that's like... Uh, I'm trying... Naming things is just so hard. My brain is not working. So maybe we could like get groups or something like this, right? So then now we have G for groups. And then now, um, yeah, Let, let's just implement that at first. And, and you know, uh, what's this? Uh, yeah, just meetings, maybe. Okay. Sorry. I'm just name. Like I said, naming things is tough. Um, okay, now for x, y in meetings, um, how do I want to write it? I mean, we just want to write BFS, right? So, yeah. Or well, maybe union fine. Eh, but... Because mm. the thing that I'm also trying to be careful is, is not to allocate space, right? And what I mean by that is like if you do something like, uh, I don't know, and this is really dumb and no one would do it anyway, but it's in group, uh, it's equal to force times n, uh, or something like this, or like 0 times n, because of maybe a group number or negative 1. But then now now you're allocating n space, right? And if you do that every time, then that's going to time out. So that's why you have to be a little bit careful. And I think that's, you know, it's fine, right? I'm I said I'm gonna do DFS and now I'm trying to like not um not do I mean it's fine. I think we all we have to do is just actually process it again. Um I, I think I was just trying to maybe 
not do that, but I think it's fine, right? Uh, and because this is going to be linear anyway, right? So then you have a JSON to this, so you go uh, append y, right? And same thing for the other one. And and this is, you know, it, it's an entire helper function, but it is, like I said, going to be just uh, BFS, right? Um, yeah, and then now for x in adjacency list dot keys, um, if so, maybe wrap groups is equal to or uh, group is equal to uh, a map, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, I ate too much for dinner and I, I'm not feeling well from it. Uh, a lot of mistakes were made today. Anyway, uh, if x is in group, if it's not in group, because if it's in group, then we just contain you. Okay, let's put it that way instead. Right, then otherwise, then now, um, yeah, then now we want a, D, a BFS from x, right? So let's start from there, and then we're good. And then now we just return group, maybe. Is that the best format? Uh, I think we want the reverse of this, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, this is so annoying. It's not even the whole, like, I don't, the, for me, I am tired. So, like, it's just annoying because it's not hard, hard. It's just a lot of annoying things, a lot of work to do. <laughs> but, you know, not, not super bad. Uh, okay, so, okay, so now for, um, Key you in group dot items. Right? Just say R. Uh, it, right? <coughs> Someone like this. Right? And the idea here is just that we now have. Uh, and they don't even need the values actually, but yeah, maybe just keep it that way for now. Uh, yeah, um, it's just to group them together, right? Um, and it's fine. Now we have a BFS that we have to implement, right? Um, yeah, you go scene as you go to. to, 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 to. Q is equal to collection dot deck. I'm so tired. With someone like this, right? And this is just regular BFS, so excuse me if I'm not going to uh, slow enough. Just I'm also not feeling well now. I think I ate too much. Uh, at high altitude. Um, uh, Uh, no mas. No, no mas. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Someone like this, right? And then now we should just return the set of scene. And then now this is going to be seen as you go to do, 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 right? So then um, maybe, maybe I'm dumb in the way that I'm writing this. Maybe this is fine. Maybe I just like, uh, maybe I write all as you go to list, right? And then now all dot append. So now you just have a list of sets. Maybe that's fine. Maybe, okay. So then now we get groups, and then now, uh, yeah, so for G, uh, okay, groups, is for G in groups, uh, then now, right, 
uh, so for for person in group, if person is in or uh, if no no sub p, then uh, good is equal to true, right? Maybe I don't know. My point to here is just trying to find out whether anyone knows the secret. If good is true, then now. Uh, for p and g again, uh, no sub p is equal to true, right? And that's it, maybe. Uh, yeah, and then now answer do, 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 just converted from uh, if no sub i answer dot append uh, i, right? And that should be good. I mean, it probably isn't because I just kind of you know. Uh, get groups. I think get groups is a more precise. Did I time out somewhere? Oh, oops. Uh, hmm. I, this is definitely a logical mistake. I made some a mistake somewhere. Hang on. Okay, I think what I maybe want is done is equal to set. Okay, done dot extend seam. Something like that. Why did I just wrote D instead of done? Uh, it's not extend. Uh, I don't know. I think to I think it's something like this is fine, but syntax is always a little weird with sets. Uh, looks okay. It may time out. I don't care. I'm going to go low. I'm really tired, as, as you can tell. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So, it does look okay. See, my, my internet is so slow that it doesn't even load the uh, icon for lead, lead code yet. So that's a bit of a, uh, I guess it doesn't take that much for uh, whatever, for submitting code. Uh, okay. 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 That is why I have uh, uh, complexity. I mean, this is linear, but uh, I just didn't really go over it. Uh, though it is kind of slow for linear, but I do a lot of processing, which is fine. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. I, I lied. I'm so tired. I mean, it's, it's n log n because of the sorting. Everything else should be linear, right? Um, which maybe should be obvious because if it's n squared, then this would just time out. But uh, yeah, so n log n. But, uh, you know, for each event oh man not feeling right for each meeting we only have one one meeting we have one event and for each event we each event will get be in the groups once right and, and this is linear right because it's just yeah looking at each item in groups And and this looks whatever, but um, each each meeting can only have two people, right? So um, that's still O of n in the number of meetings, uh, and get groups is O of n. I mean BFS is a BFS. Um, this construction is O of n, and this this thing is also O of n. We only look at each meeting um, once, right? And here it's just each person by itself. But once you kind of BFS, you know connect the component uh, on that person, then it's done. Uh, all right. My apologies, my explanation is a little lazy and tired because I am today very lazy and tired. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay good, stay healthy, it's good mental health. I'll see you all later and take care. Bye-bye.